Hey guys, out in the Black Hills, there's a few sites out there that you cannot pass up. One of those is Mammoth Site. It's one of those sites that it's unlike anything else in the world. You're never going to be to another dinosaur or fossil exhibit that is anything like this. Now when you first enter the Mammoth Site, you come straight into the pit. It's uh, actually a giant sinkhole that was formed in the late Pleistocene when a cavern that was underneath the limestone actually gave way and formed a sinkhole roughly 65 foot wide and about 125 foot deep. And the animals that had real steep sides so as they would get near, they would give way and they would fall in there and be trapped. And then it would slowly fill in with sediment over them and basically became the perfect ground for preserving these bones. Before we go any further, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that like. It really helps us grow the channel. Now Mammoth Site is still an active dig site, with paleontologists really working on digging these bones out still, and they're still finding new discoveries each and every year. And the scientists, they think that after the collapse of the original cavern, it filled in with water and became a pool, a pond that would attract thirsty animals, and basically acted as a trap, luring them in. Now the boys both said that their favorite part of the entire experience was these couple of interns that were sitting here with a couple of smaller animals and fossils that were still within the plaster cast taken from the site. And they were actually going through the process with the kids of how to brush away and use air tools to remove the sediment and debris without damaging the bones. It's really cool seeing how actually slow and minuscule of a process you have to go little by little and show the kids just how much care is taken and just how fragile these fossils actually are when they're first found. And while they were doing the little digging there out of the plaster cast, Dakota actually found a bone that even the interns didn't know that was in there. He started uncovering it. Uh, they couldn't tell what species it was from, if it was the same little rodent that was in there or what, but it's pretty neat, neat seeing them actually uncover something for the very first time. What do you think, Coda? You actually found a new bone. Yep, this is a big sinkhole, like a mud hole. And they'd come walking in and slip in and die. So if you see, that layer is about 140,000 years. Then down there, it's about 150,000, 190,000. He wants to dig up some bones. You want to do this job too? You want to do this job too? I think he'd break the bones. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So they kept digging over here and realized, okay, there's not much over here. So then they just dig it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at this Columbia mammoth. That's a Colombian one. Most of the mammoths found on mammoth site are actually the North American Colombian mammoths. In fact, of the 61 mammoths found, 58 have been this species, with only three being the woolly mammoths. Now in the room with the actual sinkhole, they have quite a few other displays. Some show the actual size differences between the animals and the different megafauna that they have found here. Others show up close some of the different bones like some of the bear claws of the short-faced bear and the skulls of those animals and stuff like that and give comparisons to their modern equivalents like grizzly bears. But uh, if you go around the corner and outside of the actual sinkhole room, it leads into an entire other place that's a true museum with actual displays about the Ice Age cultures that live there, the way people made their habitats and the way the natives actually made their huts and stuff out of the mammoth bones and used them. It's pretty cool. Oh, they found legit more stuff to do. Oh wow, a whole little hidden area. Oh. 
Now this was one of the coolest parts of the museum part. It was a replica of the Liuba baby mammoth that was found in Russia in the Arctic Yamal Peninsula back in 2007 by Nanette's reindeer farmers. They actually found it and they discovered clay inside of its trunk and believed that it actually suffocated while getting a drink of water by sucking clay into its trunk and blocked up its airway. What do you think? Could you guys live in a house like this? Can you hear that? Hmm. If we step, then they fly, catch the excess meat. I get this little buffalo hide. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> it's made out of buffalo fur. My caveman house. It's nice and roomy and spacious. We got like eight foot wide, <laughs> my ten foot long. It's almost high enough to stand up on. How'd you guys like it? Awesome! I love it! Awesome! What is it? 20 out of 10. What do you like the best? A thousand out of a thousand. How many things you can learn and how big all the bones are. I think Lexi enjoyed this as the number one top thing we've done so far. Yes. I think a thousand out of a thousand. A thousand out of a thousand? What do you think, Daddy? What do you think, Miles? You got to check out all of them? Do you guys want to do this again sometime? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, so everything we see, what does this one rate? Our kids love the mammoth site. It was by far one of their favorite places to see out here and one of the only places in the world where you can actually see an active paleontological dig site where they're still bringing these animals out of the ground and you can even join in and help discover some of these new creatures. It's a place that our kids all loved and I know your entire family is going to love as well.